and welcome to the heart of Atlanta for the OTE semifinals. Just four teams remain in contention for the OTE championship, and things are getting real. Fresh off a of bye week, it's the number one seed, City Reapers, hosting the healthy, resurgent Cold Hearts. I couldn't be more excited for this one. Along with the AMP boys, Duke and Davis, I'm Overtime Day. How are we doing, fellas? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing fantastic. Hey, this is going to be a great one. Let's take a look at how we got here so far. City Reapers with a first round bye. Now, the Cold Hearts, on the other hand, just made quick work of Hillcrest, winning both of their games by over 20 points. They'll face off the City Reapers tonight in the semifinals. Duke, a big reason why the Cold Hearts are here is because of Tyler Smith, who lit it up against Hillcrest. Hey, man, listen, Tyler Smith almost played perfect in my eyes. Man, he could do no wrong, especially from that corner. And if he continue playing like this, I can definitely see an upset coming for the Reapers. But they need Tyler Smith to continue playing exceptionally well on offense and defensive end if they got any chance on, you know what I'm saying, upsetting the Reapers. He put up he put up more than 20 in both games. Duke, who's his player comp? I'm going to go ahead and say it, man, Chris Bosh. Mm. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again, Chris Bosh, and I'm going to stick with it. Now, we know he's going to fill it up on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, he's going to have his hands full with the league MVP, Asar Thompson. Man, Asar Thompson, the league MVP of the regular season this year. This man is an absolute athletic freak. Projected number five in the upcoming draft. Not only the stats look, you know, 16, 7, and 6, but on the defensive end, he makes such uh, his presence so well known. Man, the Cohar's going to have a very, very hard time. Asar has been doing it all year, but our very own Sniper Jones caught up with Asar before the game today to hear his thoughts on winning MVP and his thoughts going into the semis. All right, man, so I'm here with Asar Thompson. I'm pretty sure you already got the news by now, but I got to ask you, how does it feel getting MVP honors at OTE, bro? You know, it feels good to win MVP. I honestly think they should have made it co-MVP, you know. I feel like me and the men's stats are so similar, but, you know, I'll give them co-MVP, so I, I feel like we won MVP in my head. All right, now you got a big game headed into tonight. I just need to know what's your mentality headed into the game because it can set the tone for the rest of the series. My mentality coming into the game is just, you know, work hard, play defense, make them uncomfortable. You know, do what we can to try to get the win. Y'all heard it here first, man. Here we have it. Asar Thompson, the OTE MVP. Asar's ready and so are we, but first the starters for the Cold Hearts. 6'7", number three ranked in 2024, Nas Cunningham. 6'2", Rob Dillingham, Kentucky commit. Tyler Smith, the red hot Tyler Smith forward. Guard from Houston, Bryce Griggs, your league leader in assists. And then your defensive player of the year, Samto Surreal. And now for your City Reapers. First, your league MVP, 6'7", MVP, Osar Thompson. Next is twin brother, also from Oakland, California, the projected number three player in the draft, Amen Thompson. Six foot, star family business, and your most improved player, Eli Ellis. 6'9", big Nate Messia Dio facing off against his former team, and last but not least, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the first player to sign with the OTE, Ryan Buley. Hey, I have the Cole Hearts. I have the Cole Hearts. I think they leave it all out game one. They surprise the City Reapers. Um, I got the I got the City Reapers, man. I feel like the Cole Hearts, this is their game to prove to me that they can actually beat competition. So I'm gonna need to see it. Okay. As a person with the best win percentage here. Oh, I was waiting for that. I got the Cole Hearts today. I think they're gonna come out so strong. This is their opportunity to show that they can hang with the City Reapers. They weren't able to really show them much in the regular season, so I think they have to come out strong today if they want to make it work by any means possible. Yeah, this is a different 
different Kohar team. We'll get into it during the game. But right now, we have our very own Sniper Jones down for the face-off between the coaches. Sniper, what's going on? All right, guys, I'm here live with both of the coaches, Coach Leto and Coach Gomes. Coach Gomes, y'all started hitting it off at the right time, winning four of the last six games. How you prepare going into this game tonight? Well, we got healthy bodies, uh, and last time we played them, we took it down to a two-possession game. So we can start off with that same energy with our guards leading the way, and we getting back in transition because these guys are great at turning defense to offense quickly. Coach Leto, I mean, y'all swept them in the series in this regular season. Do that give you confidence going into it? Are you even worried about this matchup tonight? Practice every day gives me confidence. Right now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. I trust this man. I know him since he was a teenager, so he got his team ready. That worries me. But, you know, when two good teams go at it, it's going to be about the intangible, so we're ready. All right, they both seem ready for the game. I know I'm ready. Let's get into it. Let's have a good one. Sniper, I appreciate it. We are ready for tip-off game one of the OTE semifinals from OTE Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. This place is up. This place is loud. And here we go. Man. What an amazing atmosphere to start off. I was just thinking that. This place is rocking. Everybody's standing for tip-off? I love that. Love that. Love that. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and put it on the record, right? Hit me. Cole Hearts is my favorite team. Okay? Okay, that's fair. But I need them to show me that they can beat competition. What? Okay? Oh, with the that, put back. With that being said, I think the Reapers are going to win, but I want the cohorts to win if that makes sense. I think that's fair. The cohorts are definitely my favorite team, too. Um, but yeah, they, they got to show that they can play together. They got the talent. So this is the fourth meeting between both these teams, but really the first with a healthy cohort squad is Bryce Griggs. This is the layup there. Thompson Twins going the other way. That's a SAR. Oh, and the putback from Buley. Ryan Buley with four quick points. Uh, I saw a little slow getting up at the other end. Yeah, and one. And one. Rob Dillingham. He says too small. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice. <laughs> that was a good move. Hey. And I thought Nate was about to really dunk nah, on nah, bro. Nah, listen, honest. listen. The only way you can catch something those slipping is if you literally catch him slipping. Like, literally. you gotta, gotta catch him rotating late. Catch, catch him rotating late, or he just finished blocking somebody yeah, else. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, he went here in defensive player of the year for nothing. It's true. And I think I think Samto is what makes the cohorts have a chance. Because I think he could take a man and a star out the element. For the semifinals, OTE collabed with Rolling Loud, the world's largest hip hop festival, to design special edition uniforms and apparel that speaks to the roots in hip hop culture and bold styling. Putting on their interpretations of the Cold Heart City Reapers and YNG Dreamers, which you'll see on Friday, is what it's like to perform on the main stage in front of millions of people. What do you guys think of the jerseys? Incredible. I like, I like, the, I like the Cold Hearts jerseys uh, a little bit better than the Reapers jerseys. The shorts, too. Yeah, I the, like shorts. the shorts, too. They give, they give me uh, the blue Lakers vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, that's a good call. Hey, but did you see that position? Uh, look, look. This right here, that's exactly what I mean, though. On the defensive possession, he guarded both the twins. Helped him get a stop. Getting that rebound right there. Softo yep. changes the whole game. Even if he only has, like, six, eight points a game, bro. Hey, I, game might, I might need one of these Cold Hearts jerseys. Okay. I might need, were they on the site? Oh, yeah. Well, you see the YMG Dreamers there. What do you think of those jerseys? I like them, too, but I still I, I think the Kohan got a bit more. Chat, which, which new jerseys are the best ones? We got a sniper model in it. <laughs> and all those will be available on the overtime.tv shop in a couple days. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I like the Cold Hearts the best. Yeah. OT got some drip low-key. Yeah, I might need one with just a Dennis on the back. I had to frame it. Hang it up. I thought I'd play a few games. And... So at OT, you can put anything you want on the back. You put your last name, you wouldn't put Duke? Uh, I mean, yeah, Duke, it's the same thing. <laughs> People know what, what, what a business is. What number, 34? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Smoked it. A man a little off. All right, so if Cole Hart got, well, got any chance of winning this, uh, we need Tyler Smith to continue performing like he did. We need Nas to continue performing like he did. I'm telling you, nobody, hey, that he's the game changer for this team, man. The defensive player of the year, Samto Cyril, the league leader in blocks, but that's what he can do on the offensive end, too. Baby Shaq. 
Euro. Big Nate from the top of the key off the mark. And not only is the paint no no longer open for business. Oh, good drive by Rob. Oh, great. Oh, he should have been grabbing it. Hope he did that. Got bodies falling. Let's take another look here. Nice dish from Rob at the finish. And he said afterwards. He said afterwards he's too little. Look. I'm gonna need Bryce to, to shoot to, to shoot the three ballers as well. In and out. Great close up by Eli. Oop, two oop. Yep. They'll stay here for the City Reapers. Oh, uh, that's all. Coach is upset too. No, we get late, 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 get under. That's no foul, no foul. The drive. No, no. What? And he'll go to the line for two. It looked like they almost, almost went in. What he, just want to know what he did? Yeah, I'm, I'm liking all this rolling loud drip. That's fine. She said that last bump, Rob. On that last, on that last step. Then you fan out from there. That's Coach Lado of the City Reapers on your screen there. And off the mark for Eli. Hey, both teams are a little, a little shaky at the, at the line right now. Feels Stop like right got here. some, some playoff right nerves up, up. a little yeah, bit, you know? Boy, yeah, some, some semifinal energy, too. Yep, about round second quarter. Yeah, they let it go. Who do you think is going to be the leading scorer today in the game? On either side. Man. I got you. Uh, Tyler. I think it's Tyler. There we go. I was going to go Tyler. Go. Now after that, Maybe I'm not, not sure if I'm going Tyler. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the men. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually go with the star. Actually? If you get if you get handed your MVP trophy before the game, off the mark. Yeah, both, both teams having a, having a hard time. Oh, rejected. And kept in man, by Bryce Griggs. Game sprint, changer, sprint, man. Sprint. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, that's funny right there, too. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Everybody gets him right there. That's a man Thompson. It's Nate. And Nate Messia Dio with authority. Don't even need that treble. So in their previous matchup, they played three times. The Cold Hearts got blown out in the first two. Bryce Griggs in and out. Everybody in and out. Everybody's missing. Eli probably That's Eli it. going the other way. Throws it up Ooh. and throws it down. Yeah. Beautiful feed from Eli Ellis and the finish Fire from you. The Reapers just trying to outrun Fire the Cold Hearts on the bad break right now. So in the third, in their third meeting, the Cold Hearts went to a zone, and that tripped up the City Reapers, made them shoot from the outside. The City Reapers ended up squeaking by with a four-point win, but it'll be interesting to see as this game goes on how the Cold Hearts react on the City defensive Reapers end. City Reapers suffocating. Yeah. Asar, the easy That's finish. Man, man, man. Man. Nice right there. They on a little run, but the, the cohorts need to slow them down with a, with a score right here. Dude, I can, I can feel you holding your breath there, waiting for the dunk, and it was yeah. just a layup, yeah. Oh, man. The dish oh, and, the oh. finish. and the honey dip. <laughs> hey, if Agent was here, he'd be very, very happy about that. Yo! And that's a standing dunk? Yo! When was the last time you saw a honey dip in game? Man, yo, last the, time Salto did it. Like, yeah, true. Man, yo, the casual. And yeah. one. I like it. Ahmed Thompson and the Stars are coming out at. to play. Trey, we're going to keep going at strong. it. Hey, going. listen. These are some strong moves right here. Mm. Samto block. This is... That's the big name finish. And the screen. Oh, yeah, that was a... Mm. Eli throws it up to Buley. Ryan Buley, that is. Uh, highlights already. Wow. It's Sonny. Sonny did was insane. Hey, you're not bro. seeing this elsewhere, man. Bro, the, bro, the NBA dunk contest did a honey deal. Yeah, we just and saw a dunk doing contest an game in, in the semifinals. <laughs> Crazy. Come on, man. Hey, this, this ball, this ball is, is different. And that's going the other way for the Cole Hearts. Hey, John, I think John Dan's going to be a sleeper, sleeper too. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's happening early. Matt Buley throws it away. 
City Reapers going the other way. Now, the Cold Hearts, they need to limit the turnovers. They only had 24 turnovers in their first two games. That's been their Achilles heel all game. Goes it up, goes it down. <laughs> the Twin Telepathy. Twin Telepathy, indeed. Hey, I'd like to look easy. You and South Tone play at the same time. Oh, Bryce. Bryce. Oh, this is physical. I love this physical. Oh, yeah, shoot it. Oh, man. I'm going to need Bryce to, Bryce to shoot those yeah. right here. Yeah, it's physical, man. Oh, yeah, they want it. They want it. They want it. They're trying to, hey, the twins said they want to make them uncomfortable in this game right here. And it looked like they're doing a good job so far. Look at the backdoor cut there from Asar. 100%. Great pass, great finish. That's John Ed Walker with the ball right now. Trey Parker. The kick. Malik Bowman off the mark. They don't need to hit these. Yeah, yeah, nah. They, uh, the game would be totally different if the cohorts just hit their shot. A lot of wide open looks so yeah, far. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of. That's big shot, Jackson rejected. I like how they clo closed in. Hey, like, it seemed like the Reapers got, like, like defensive answers for everything the yeah. cohorts mm -hmm. did. They got to hit their shots, that's it. Yeah, yeah, they just got to hit their shots. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's their right. shot. Reapers going the other way. The beautiful feed and the beautiful finish. What an adjustment from Trey Parker. Yep. And a timeout by the Cold Hearts. We have a quick 10-point lead here. Cold Hearts have to hit their shots. Dude, yep, I'm with that's you. it. That's it. They don't, I don't think they need to pan it. They just need to hit their shots. Yeah, the City Reapers are a fast team. They're playing fast. I think, it'll be like, like, like I said, the Cold Hearts hit their shots. A lot closer. Yep. You oh, saw God. that dish there from Eli Ellis, the most. It Eli Ellis, oh, big three out of Eli. Eli for three, and he's fired up. Yeah, that's Eli Ellis, your most improved player of the year. Eli is just having an unbelievable year. He was the last pick in the draft. He's the youngest player in the league. And all he's done is twice set the single game three point record. Has the best three point shooting percentage in the league at almost 50% from three. And there have been multiple times in this season where he's just been unconscious from behind the arc. Hey, Eli, uh, y'all just saw the assist from Trey, but Eli, uh, he, he's such a fierce defender. And that's my favorite thing to say for him first because it's obviously the shooter. But what he brings to the game on a defensive end, he applies pressures like the Thompson Twins do on defense. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't expect that from someone his size. So um, what he means to, to this uh, City Reapers team, so much. Man, man, they just need to hit eight shots. Man. They don't miss, miss six three-pointers so far. They probably 0 for six right now. So, yeah, 0 for 7 for the oh, Cold Hearts, yes. 0 for 2 for the City Reapers. Yep, so I was, I, you know what I'm saying, one, one short, one shy. <laughs> the, me, the, the mental tally. Hey, Ralph got low key handles, though. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's John Ed Walker. The foul on the floor. Young Ed Walker has missed some time this year, but he's just another one of those pieces that the Cold Hearts have gotten back, and, and they've started the click. Yeah, uh, I see. I see John Ed really, you know, what I'm saying, have a great game um, in their last series. He was, he was an important piece. I'm gonna need him and Tyler Smith to be just as important. Ooh. Man, the refs are definitely on play today. Cold Hearts can't finish. City Reapers going the other way. Oh. oh, in and out from Trey Parker and cleaned up. There's something about that ball right now. <laughs> that ball is going literally in and out. Every single time. Yeah. I've seen a lot of layups, a lot of dunks. I'm with you, dude. I have to get some shots up at halftime to see and investigate myself. Walker. Kicks oh Martino Jr. Pocket. And Trey Parker's going the other I'll way. Ralph wants it back. That's Malik Bowman. 
And that's why I like Fury. Right there. I like that. I like that right there. Still a 10-point lead for the City Reapers. Hey, chat, if you're in the chat right now, let me know who do y'all think the Cole Hearts need to go to on offense in order to put some points together. I'm in the chat. Let me know ASAP. Rest. That should okay. be going the other way, and it is. Hey, this is this going, this going, oh, man, they just running. off to the races. Trey, Trey Parker. Trey, Trey, Trey hitting. Uh, Trey, Trey hitting ball. like that. Hey, nobody has hit a three yet. 9-19, City Reapers trying to run it as much as possible. Cold Hearts playing a little more of their half-court game. I'm, hey, man, listen, somebody from the Cold Hearts need to hit this three to get the momentum going. Tyler Smith, we need Tyler back on. We need Rob. We need John Ed. Sumto, I think that's a good lineup right now. I think that's a great lineup. Yeah, I'm with these dudes. They just need to see one go through the hoop. Yep. Yeah. Ned Walker. Four seconds. Yeah, the Reapers are playing just such a Rejected. And he'll go to the line for two foul on Bryson Tiller. What y'all think? I think that was clean. I thought that was clean, too. I think that's clean. I think that's clean. Yeah, that's Although, he didn't really put up much of an argument. Let's, let's see, let's, let's see, let's, let's see. see. Uh, I couldn't, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a block. It looked good to me. Me, personally, I'd be furious. Yeah, but Vaughn don't lie, so if he, I got a feeling he's going to miss at least one of these free throws. Hey, Snipe, what you got going on down there? All right, man, as y'all can see, bro, I'm right here at the game. It's getting a little wild out here. I got on the new overtime jerseys, by the way. These new Rolling Loud joints is crazy. I heard y'all over there talking about the Cold Heart jerseys. I think those are fire. But we got to show some respect to these City Reapers jerseys. They kind of remind me of those old Toronto jerseys back when they had T-Mac and Vince Carter. They got the pinstripes with the same colors. Let me know what y'all feeling, though, man. Back to y'all's the booth. Man, Sniper, I think you look excellent. Bob on that, man. <laughs> it's a sniper just standing here. He doesn't even, he, he's looking at us just oh, laughing. Man, and the finish, the spin. That was a tough bucket. Man, I'll be so irritated if I was getting, whoa. He didn't like the foul and he got those points back. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be beyond furious at the city we pushed the full court pressure in the first quarter. I'll be so irritated, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, get away from me, bro. It's li we've literally been playing for three minutes. Oh. Oh, man. Both teams a little, a little sloppy with the ball here. That's Malik going to work, though. Yeah, that was a, that was a terrible decision making right there. Trey Parker trying to settle things down. The dish, mm. and nice finish. Yeah, Malik Bowman got to cough that up. Yeah, 100%. But this is what I was talking about. I think the cohorts just need to show everybody that they can, they can be, you know what I'm saying? Com they can compete with the best of them. Mm. Yeah, this is this unlucky bounce. That's ZZ Clark. That's Trey Parker in the corner. Off the mark. Nobody, nobody can hit a jumper. Oh. That's a Trey Parker hits the ground a little hard. Daniel Nelson said the Cole Hearts folded, not gonna lie. Yeah, the Cole Hearts definitely look like they folding right now. I ain't gonna count. Now, Trey Parker, of course, human highlight reel. But if you watch him play, he's much more than just an unbelievable dunker. Right, Davis? 100%. I mean, last game I saw him, he hit about three, four threes back to back to back. So he could shoot, he could jump. He's a great ball distributor. Um, hey, 12 points a game since he did his thing. Trey Parker, man, I think that he underrated shooter, like my dog David said. Um, he bring a, little, a, a different type of energy, man. He played with a lot of aggression, with a, with a little chip on his shoulder. And he gave himself the ultimate green light, if we're being honest. So. That's very true. And, and he's one of those players, if he hits one, Back two more by the hit. He was the top dunk show champion. And he'll be going to NC State next year. Playing for the Wolfpack. That's Rob Dillingham, the Kentucky commit. 
and City Maybe Reapers are going the other way. City Reapers are just faster. That's Tez, Montez Cobbs. And Ed Walker going the other way, wow. and the lefty Second. finish. Oh, yeah. A high left, left hand finish like that. That's tough. Hey, if I'm if I'm Cohort co coach, I'm telling them if we miss, get back. Yep. Because bro, it's obviously that they trying to outrun the, the cohort. This is it's facts. Good point. Let's take another look here. This is such a tough left. Mm. The lefty too. The official overtime page commented saying we need to get Rob high. Hey Duke, you mentioned it. We've seen a lot of missed threes so far. We haven't seen one go through it through the through the hoop. Yep, not not a single one from both teams, but it's but more importantly the cold hearts. Man, they really need they shooters, uh Tyler Smith uh mostly to get, you know what I'm saying, up and running on on, on the on the scoreboard, Rob. Um, Nas, hey, they need, they need, they shoot us to come through. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm, for the Cold Hearts, that was their strategy in game three. They played zone, made City Reapers shoot from the outside. That was their strategy. But, but on the other side, Cold Hearts have to knock down their open threes. Yep. If they shoot the open, if they shoot the open threes and missing, the Cold, the uh, Reapers taking off and, and trying to get easy, fast, great points. And they're getting it too. And they're getting it. So that's why the score looks like this. Yeah, I'm so, trying to believe that they can still win this game. They just got to hit their shots and definitely get back on defense. Hey, chat, who's taking this last shot of the first quarter for the City Reapers? Davis, who you got? Oh, Trey Parker. Oh, wait, is Trey, is Trey in the game? Yeah, Trey, Trey Parker. Here we go. It will be a step back three. Don't get me wrong. Trey throws okay. it away. Right. Three seconds left. Rob going the other way. Oh Gets my. it off. Goodness gracious, Rob Dillingham. <laughs> That's who we needed right there. That's who we needed, man, Rob. Wow, that's a tough bucket. I like that shot. First shot to go in, and it was a buzzer beater, man. That's a great way to end the corner, the quarter. Wow. Rob Dillingham takes the top of off the lid. Let's take another look. Man, that was such an impressive shot. Rob Dillingham. And Take a look at Bryson Tiller on the spin and the lefty finish. And this is a message from Bryson Tiller on Black History Month. Black History Month is the time to celebrate black perseverance and black excellence. It's a time to learn and a time to remember. It is a time to reflect on our past and honor the black men and black women who devoted their lives to paving a better path for all of us. There is no American history without African American history. Bryson Taylor with four points and three rebounds. A couple nice finishes at the rack. I mean, with so many stars on the City Reapers team, he kind of gets lost in the shuffle, but he's also the number four prospect in the class of 2025. That's incredible. And I like his game because it's versatile. He can hit the midi, he can get, go strong and get rebounds, he can dunk, uh, athletic, play defense. I like Bryce's game a lot. I definitely think it gets, it's, it, he's definitely underrated even though he's ranked high. Yeah, I mean, from Atlanta, in his hometown, 6'9 forward. And I believe we have Sniper with TJ. What's going on, Sniper? Stay clock with me, man. You iron out the competition right now. Y'all been chilling. Y'all been in the cut. Let me know your thoughts on what the playoff been so far. You know, we're just looking to see what we got to face. So, you know, we come out here play basketball. I feel like we play defense. Nobody out here can beat us. I see you got the hat on. I'm wearing a jersey. I know I ain't wearing it right. They got me out here looking crazy. Oh, my. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, we good. This, hey, this is what you get when you pay good money for the seats. That's all that is. That, that's what, all. what you think of the new Rolling Loud jersey? Hey man, them things are elite. You know, I think we got the best jerseys. I can't wait to get a dub in them, so that's gonna be, that's that's it. All right, man, I'm gonna toss it back to the booth. We got one of the best two-way players here at OTE. Snipe said it. Back to y'all, man. Thank you, Sniper. That's TJ Clark of the YNG Dreamers. And you know what they say? If Sniper says it, it's legit. Yeah, it's a fact. It's stamped at that point. Hey, enough about Sniper. Hey, look, y'all see, Rob is getting hot. This is what we love to see, honestly. Listen, Rob is getting hot, and I think they're Rob two made three pointers alone. Mm -hmm. You know what the next the, the next possession will be a very deep 
A very deep three point. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be a heat check. Heat it's what check. we need. This we need. I agree. The core needs some offense. So he kind of had. He kind of had that strut going back yeah. down the floor. Trey. Trey Parker. <laughs> hey, don't yeah. sleep on Trey yeah, shooting, man. Yeah, don't, don't, don't sleep on. Don't sleep on my dog, Trey Parker, man. I mean, Trey Parker. Still find a way to get buckets on this very, very stacked city we pursue. Both oh, guards so starting to heat up, and city reapers are going the other they way. Are. They're so fast. A man Thompson off the ball. Oh, oh, smoked it. It's Trey Parker. Look. He wants it again. Off the rebound. Mark. Great rebound by Sopto. Oh my goodness. That's QB two right there. That's not QB one. Now nah, that's the that's the wrong person to leave open. Hey, hey, that's a great box out by John Ned. Hey, people don't call out box outs enough. That's a great yeah, no, box I, out. I like that. I like that. I'm, I love seeing you get hype over a box yeah, out like he's, that. He's, he's, I'm a foot tall, he's a foot taller than when he got the rebound. I ain't gonna lie, getting boxed over, uh, getting hyped over a box out is insane. And it's Trey Parker. We just talked about it, man. He's not just a dunker, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. If he can do that on a consistent basis, dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. All right, let's see how deep Rob's going to take this three at, for the heat check. I send a double team. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, yeah. and one. Yeah, I want to yeah, the they, foul they, They're definitely not calling no fouls right now. It's yeah. definitely not on the cold heart. Yeah. <laughs> it's back down to a six-point game, two minutes into the second quarter. I like, you know what? I like I like this Nas on the men matchup. Oh, he's Bryce and Tiller. I, I like how the cold heart's not, uh, you know what I'm saying, giving up so early, and it was, it was a bit of push, it was a bit run, and they came back, they came back fire, man. Rob Dillingham mid range. Bro, he's cooking. He's feeling yeah, it. Yeah, he sir. is feeling it. Hey, playoff time, man, when, Rob, when they re needed Rob most, and yep. he's showing up, man. My dog got nine points so far. Nine quick points, too. Nine quick ones. Asar. I like that. Off and the he mark. hit that. Hey, hey, do not do not take Rob out. Rob in transition. Ah, okay, that's, 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 that's a little forceful, but hey. Good defense. Good defense. Out of control. Cole Hart's going the other way. Rob Dillingham throws it up. Oh, oh, good oh great defense. Wow. Dio. Eli maybe got away with a hey, challenge. No a one big, saw anything. Hey, no. no one saw a thing. That's a big play oh, from, from Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a bit more Jay, uh, Jay, get stop. down, Tonto. Yeah. Four Jay, points go right there. Hey, was that a travel? Nah, no travel? Ready, nah. Uh, you know, they really ain't none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't call it, then we ain't gonna call it. Show <laughs> nah, me something, Nathan. Oh, mid range. A little out of control there. That looked like when you hit square on accident, like you actually take a shot on two good. How in the world? Oh, okay. If he would have got the pass off, how do you even see him? I'm going to say, how, how would you even see no, him? If, let's let's take another look here. Stop the dunk. Great feed, strong dunk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He got, he got smacked on his head. Ref, I'm going to need that next Tyler. time. I mean, Davis, we have the cold hearts. We, we're going to need more of those and ones. <laughs> yeah, nah. No, there's cold hearts ball. Stay here for the cold hey. hearts. Yeah, Rob's standing next to us right now. He's, he's locked in. He's yeah, locked yeah, in. He, he definitely Stay locked in right now. What's the playoff? What do you want me to do? Hey, Rice right here. I don't think I've seen him shoot more shots. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Rice is on the on the board yet. The shot clock. A great rebound Spires. by Tyler. He definitely got he definitely got fouled first. First foul in a, in a minute, it feels like. I don't even know what happened. I'm lost. Hey, where we at, bro? Blind spot from here. Hey, quick! 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 Got her! Point game. Got her. Quick. Four minutes quick. into the second quarter. Cole Hart's scratching clung getting back into this game. Now nice. seems a little uncomfortable. Hey. Oh my. Nah. Big Nate didn't like the call. <laughs> That's insane. He did not like that call. <laughs> he didn't like the call. It's crazy. Hey, the OTE semifinals rolls on this weekend.
Tune in Friday to see the two seed YNG Dreamers host Dre Gibbs Lawhorn and the red hot Word of God Holy Rams, 7 p.m. on Prime. Then right after that, it's game two between the City Reapers and the Cold Hearts. You can watch that game on Prime and YouTube. The action is just starting to heat up. You don't want to miss out. Hey, I, I still like our pick, Dave. I'm with it. I'm with it. I completely agree. Oh, not if they leave Eli Ellis open, though. Eli. Woo Are you serious? Acrobat. That was tough. On gold. Hey, when, and, that and, was tough. And I hate to be redundant. I say the same thing over and over. But when Sopto gets out, you can tell. Because the, the City Reapers just start driving straight to the paint. Rob Dillingham and the beautiful. Bro, he got, beautiful beautiful he got 13. He got 13. He got half the team's points. Bro, Rob is going crazy right now. They need Rob, bro. And, and, look, and he, look, he's starting to smirk up his face. And he's starting to... Mumble under yep, his breath. Yep. So when, so when his his words get a little louder, oh yeah, you know he's gonna go crazy. Yo, they gotta. I'm not gonna lie. They gotta put something back in the game. Yeah. There'll be layups taken consecutively. It's immediate. Once Samto goes out of the game, they're going to the rack every time. Samto, your league leader in blocks per game. Rob, off the mark. I ain't gonna lie. So, so the Reapers are doing a great job. Uh, defending Tyler Smith right now. Yep, take him out of the game. Oh, no one's playing defense. Asar Thompson, a little short. Bryce Briggs, we, we gotta see some some, some offense from Bryce. I'm with you. The, the Cole Hearts need a second score right now to go along with Rob. Rob's uh, cooking. <laughs> the said, I'm not trying to hear it, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Eli, super acrobatic. That's hard, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's with the English. Finish. And he bumped him a little bit. That's a hard finish. I mean, but that's just like the, the talent on the City Reapers, Trey Parker, Eli Ellis, Thompson Twins. Man. Hey, hey, I think we have Sniper down there for the Vibe Camp. Sniper, what's going on? All right, even though the Reapers are out right now, don't get it twisted. They are locked in right now. As you guys can see, everybody's focused. Before the uh, foul happened, everybody was standing up. The bench is in it, and they really want to win this game. And I guess the key to that is slowing down Rob Alfonso Dillingham. He's hot right now, but they still may be able to get the W. They locked in tonight, y'all. I ain't going to hold you. Back to y'all at the booth. Saw Matt Bewley with the poster there. Yeah, I mean, game one in any playoff series is important. In a two out of three series, Super important. You gotta take game one. Yeah, you got to. That's a man Thompson. We got a oh, jump oh, ball. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Tyler Smith is happy about the jump ball. Hey, I, I'm starting to notice I see I see a member getting a little frustrated. And I'm not gonna lie, that look he was a controversial call, but I saw the finish there from Matt Muley. Tough pass, very strong finish. You know, every time I do a City Reapers game, it catches me off guard. Because we saw the poster on Big Nate. Nate is 6'9". What do you think his wingspan is? 7'2". 7'2". 7'5". I was right. I was right. I said 7'5". You five. said so, yep. Yeah, I was Dude, right. You're right. 7'5". Crazy. Oh, great play by, by Tyler Smith to get that rebound. There's Rob pushing it. Great pass. Bryce. Malik. Malik Bowman from the corner. They need that. Yes, sir. And it's a four-point yes, game just like that. They need that. They, I ain't going to lie. Big shout out to the Cole Horse for, for correcting their mistakes. They need to start making threes, and they've been doing that. Shout out to Rob for starting the, for starting the snowball effect. Trey Parker off the mark. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it's day and night. Yeah. Cole Hart's desperately missing that protection in the paint. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rob's, oh my goodness. Rob starts to cook. Buley and the lefty finish. Tough, that was a tough finish. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob, hey, Rob, bro, he really orchestrating right now. He's, He's like orchestrating that. right now. Yo, I'm, yo, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, Sop though, he needs to get back in. They gotta go the if they want a chance to, to go on a big run. Oh my goodness. Rob. Oh my goodness. Yo. Rob Dillingham. Whoa. Percolating. Damn. Yo, I can't count. It might be one of those games. It might be one of those. 
Yeah. Might be one of those games for my dog, Rob. And you know, take another look at Rob. Look here, no look layup almost. <laughs> there you, go. you know, Davis, I don't know what made me say that, but the man's hot. <laughs> I told y'all, bro, I seen it, bro, when he hit the game, or when he, when he hit the buzzer beater in the first quarter. I say, man, if y'all let him get a few more shots, then he gonna start mumbling under his breath. <laughs> get that smirk. And he gonna have that smirk every time he's cold. I'm telling you. Word. Man. Now they're let him have about 20 points, now, man. Now, the last, guys, guys, the last time these two teams met, they were going at it. It was a four-point game. We saw a lot of zone defense from the cold hearts. What do you remember from that game just a couple weeks ago? So that game was a blowout at first. Mm-hmm. And the cold hearts, that comeback run that they made made me know that they had a chance to compete with the City Reapers. Yep. For the longest time, it looked like no one could compete with the City Reapers. So, I want to see. I want to see them play like that for a half. It's going to be hard to play that for a full game. But I want to see them play with that level of intensity for a half. I, th I think they're going to pull out the, the zone when, when they need it. When, whenever they feel like, you know what I'm saying, the right time to pull it out, I think they're going to pull it out. Now, Duke, let me ask you. The Cold Hearts, we know this story in every sport. The team that hasn't really been healthy the whole year, they have a lot of talent, but they really haven't had the time to gel until the playoffs. They looked pretty good against Hillcrest. They're playing pretty well tonight. Do you think that teams can just gel like that when they oh, have that much talent? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, I definitely didn't think that the Cold Hearts going to look this good, especially this late. I thought it was too. I thought it was too late. To, you know what I'm saying? To like you, like you say, jail together. But they doing, a, they doing a good job. They look good so far. Coming as the four seed, Rob Dillingham with 13 points and four assists. And it feels like he's just getting going too. Man, yeah, now nah, he's going crazy right now. He got 15. It's a one possession game, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, Rob with 16 points now. Great defense. Oh, man. Oh, we're going back the other way for the Reapers. That would have been a free layup. Five on four. Eli Ellis. He missed. He smoked it. Off yeah. the mark. Wide right. Oh, man. Yeah, Paul Hart's right. throw it away. Great defense. Oh, got bodies falling. Hey, Rob put it all on the line yep. right now, man. Hey, I like seeing Rob play like this, bro. Rob's dealt with some injuries this year, but when he's healthy and he gets in that zone, he's as scary as anyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, Eli you know, mid-range. You know, tough pull up by Eli. Eli going crazy, too. You can tell Eli won't it. Hey, Sniper, what's going on with Coach Gomes? All right, Coach Gomes, Rob is in his zone right now. I'm pretty sure you see him score like this all the time at practice. What makes him so hard to guard? You know what, he got so much great foot speed, and you know what, he does a wonderful job of, he uses his eyes very well when he handles the ball to make people think he's gonna pass it, or he's going to his crossover and he get the shot off so quick. So when the player got it going like that, you know, it's like everybody kind of get out the way, let him be the super creator that he can be, and then he got us back into this game very close right now, so now everybody else's energy has picked up due to his shot making ability and him just playing in flow. Y'all heard it here, man, Rob is doing his thing. Thank you, Coach, appreciate it. Back to y'all the booth. Thank you, Coach Gomes. Thank you, Sniper, as always. As Santo Surreal checks back in. Yeah, Santo, let's, let's see if you really gonna make the make the difference. Oh yeah, happy to see Santo back in again. They got they got on a little run there even without Santo. That's true. Yeah. But yeah. but I mean that that feels like gravy because if you're scoring like that without him. Now you get a couple stops on the defensive yep. end. Cold hard starting to feel good. Now, I feel like they're, they're getting buckets, but they get some stops too. They can start winning. Asar Thompson looking for an open man. Nathan Messia deal off okay. the mark. Yep. <laughs> there, there have been a few. There have been a few things that have been called fouls. I don't know. I feel like Loki that could be fouled. Rob back to work. Yo. He's cooking. Those are the like 17 and 18. Hey, look, there you go. You see him? You see him? <laughs> he's dug it. Hey, he dug it. Hey, only if I can repeat what I think he's saying. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Word. 40 to 41. Nah, Rob is going insane right now, man. Hey, if it ain't broke, ooh, good shot, sir. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Great that's, hustle. And that's Rob going the other way. Oh, man. The Nayon Rob match. Yeah, I've seen that Nayon Rob oh, match before. John Ned. Oh, man. 
And that's just that's just fundamental right there. I knew it was done. That's just, just like that, man. The Cole Hearts take the lead. Hey, hey, if they uh, keep allowing Rob to orchestrate this, hey, it might be, it might be scary. The first lead of the night for the Cold Hearts. And the City Reapers have to get some momentum back. Yeah, yeah, they do. They gotta hit shots. I mean, cause they're sagging off of heavy. Yeah, don't, that, that don't, 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 don't do not go, John. This is the player of the year right there. Hey, Cold Hearts look like a, like a tough team yeah, in the second do. quarter. <laughs> Tyler Smith. Uh, Off the mark. Uh, Very cool. He should have passed it just a little earlier, but look, look, look. They, they got to chill. They got to just get back on, on track. And you know what I'm saying? One second separates the shot clock and the game clock. Davis, who's taking it? Man. Trey Parker. I like that. Duke, who you got? I got the, uh, I got. Uh, I got Eli. Oh, Trey was open. Though. He was. <laughs> And that will do it for the first half. Cold Hearts storm back, storm back and take the lead, a one point game heading into halftime. Take a look at Rob just cooking in the first half. And he's been doing it, not just scoring, but also facilitating too with, with five assists. Uh, he been going crazy, man. Hey, I know Rob way too well, man. He's a great guy and I know his game plan and I know that when he get it rolling, I know his 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 tendencies, you know what I'm saying? And his tendencies is starting to look like, like they normally do when he on the road. So he having a great game. Rob, Rob looks amazing, but Matt Buley also with a great first half and he joins us now before halftime. Matt, we have to start with one of your teammates. Rob Dillingham was absolutely cooking in that first phenomenal, half. Phenomenal, phenomenal. He's doing phenomenal right Talk now. about that kind of zone that he's in and what that does for other guys on the team. Man, it just inspires us to keep going, man, because obviously we were down. So when Rob got us going, when he got going, got us going. So, yeah. In the second half, what do you guys have to do to keep your foot on the gas and pull out the win? Just play defense, rebound, and run the floor. That's what we got to do to win the game. And also, if Rob's hot, get a ball to Rob and let him cook. Matt, appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the game. OTE Halftime Show. Coming right up, don't go anywhere. Stick with us. Everyone's always asking me if winning the OT championship is gonna be easy. And I tell them, does it look easy? Finding a good neighbor? Now that's a different story. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome to the Overtime Halftime Show. I am your host, Sniper Jones, joined by my guy, I'm Davis. How you feeling today, bro? Yeah, I'm doing excellent, Sniper. Being here with you for halftime, listen, man, I'm listen. honored, man. Hey, listen, man, crazy first half. What's your thoughts on the game? It's insane. Hey, in the first quarter, City Reapers were going crazy. Yeah. But then in that second quarter, Rob, Rob and Dylan. Dylan. Hey, Bro, hey, hey. I've been, I'm, I'm excited to see this cohort team fully healthy and in motion. Santo making all the world yes. of the defensive end. But hey, can Trey, we talk about the honey dip? The, the honey, honey dip, dip in game. Come on, hey, bro. He told us he was gonna do it again. He told you that? He told me he was gonna do it again, and bro. he did it. it Salt Lake, hey, All Star Weekend just passed. Hey, hey, he, he broke it out. need to be he, at All Star Weekend, man. Listen, but, Rob Dillingham's ability to score the ball is on epic display tonight. Not only that, he facilitating. He throwing dumbs. He, he running a break. He doing Doing everything you need from your score. I love seeing this cohort team at full speed, but don't forget about Trey Parker coming to life on the City Reapers. But if this cohort team can can have that zone and make the yep. City Reapers shoot, yep. they have a chance to beat them. Let me ask you though, talking about the City Reapers, did you expect them to come out, set the tone like that, or was you expecting cohorts to just come out and, and put a dent in it? I always expect the City Reapers to come out strong because they're a strong, fast team. So they run at full speed. Uh, in that first quarter, I thought they were going to run away with the game, but the cohorts were able to slow it down, make them shoot jump shots. So Speaking of the City Reapers, let's check out their road to the finals, man. Let's check it out. 
Everybody usually wraps their season around and prepares their season for the playoffs. When that comes, it's the most important time of the year. Well, the playoffs is a different animal. What you did yesterday doesn't necessarily represent what will happen come playoff time. And I feel like it could go any way. Really, anybody can win, anybody can pull upset, and anybody can get hot. The stakes do get higher, and you know people start to play harder. Because if you're not trying then, then when, when will you ever try, you feel? All the other things that, that you've been working on go out the window, and there's only one thing that matters, and that's the score. I mean, I feel like the Reapers, we just put fear in a lot of players at the beginning of the game. You give yourself a chance to win if you can defend, rebound the ball, protect your basket, and then use your athleticism, which I think we have a lot of. There's a lot of leaders on our team. We have a bunch of uh, vocal guys. I feel like we have like some of the most grinding players, like me, Asar, Nate, Trey, Eli. We're just a tough team. You know, we hit you in the mouth first, hit you hard, and after that, people don't know how to bounce back, so that's why we usually win our games. I feel like our team is the hottest going into the playoffs. Everybody's expecting us to win, so it's a lot of momentum coming into this. There are a lot of people that show up on the weekends not liking us, not wanting us to win. So it's given them a certain camaraderie that we can hopefully carry into the playoff picture. Nothing left to do but to get it going, all right? I feel like my whole team is really confident. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. For the Reapers, the one we just got to play together, play defense, uh, play hard. If we play defense and do what we're supposed to do, we beat every team by 20 plus. We're just a scary team to go against. Oh! I just know we're going to win, so it is what it is. All right, Davis, you've seen the road to the finals. I got to ask you, do you think the City Reapers can actually pull it off and win the series? And on top of that, actually win the entire thing, win the championship? Man, the City Reapers are 100% the favorite to win the finals this year. Are they going to go to the finals? I want the cohorts to go. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's up in the air. It's 50-50. I always say that the cohorts got, like, the deepest team in OTE, so they got a chance. But the City Reapers, I mean, there's nothing but heavy hitters there. Speaking of them, let's see what Coach Leto is saying down there in the locker room because I know he got a message from him. And so don't be victimized by your excellence. Be excellent by your excellence. When things don't go excellent, you rise to the occasion. And it ain't when we make subs, because I know Trey came off the bench. I know BT came off the bench and played his ass off. It's, it's, it's so, so it's about small things. Like, I would like, if somebody wanted to get pissed off, get pissed off. Why can't we guard him one-on-one? -on -one? Is he too quick? Is he too fast? Is he too good? All Anybody, 11 guys think, stop talking to each other. So, so we become the cold hearts because we're bitching and moaning to some. The, the guys that just go about their business and play. So if I. If, if First half. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Other than that, real quick, we're doing a great job. We plus one. We plus one at the half. Battle, battle into that game, made them make shots. I told you in the half court, that's where you're going to get them. If you get anything in transition, now we're in a foot race with these dudes because they're getting off the rebound and they're throwing touchdown passes to whoever's down the court, no matter who's getting it. Like, every player has thrown a, long, a full court pass. So you know what they do? Once they go through the net, we worried about who we got. They're like, now nah, let's just throw it down there and be athletic. But make them play in the half court. Everybody gets to their position. We talk in our spots. Now they're looking like, what are we doing? They pump fake and sidestep. They throwing it over to me on the sideline. So keep that same intensity. Other thing is, they only made two shots outside the paint. Right? It's not it's due to our good defense, what I'm saying. Trey's bomb at the shot clock, that was the 1-3. And I think Eli hit another one. Other than that, everything been tipped, offensive rebound. So they're not making no plays like off the bounce. It's going to be off of hustle off the rebound or fast break transition. Let's keep make, let's keep moving the ball. And listen, not like this, but whoever got it going. When Tyler had it going for the 35, we was going, at, we was going to Tyler. Then we went away. Right now, Rob got the hot hand. It's the moment. He got it going right now. So right, whether he shoots it or he draws the attention, everybody else got to be alert. You know what I'm saying? We run it all oh, two up for Rob. They worry about Rob. They chasing him. That means shit. If you crazy, crazy.
crazy, crazy first half. What do you think about the first half, bro? Wow, bro. It's the biggest thing to worry about in life than who, you know, what I thought of the first half. Well, what's wrong with you today, bro? We just play on basketball. No, 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 no. Excellent first half, man. The energy in here is electric, man. I, I, I like it. I know All-Star Weekend just passed, but Softo pulled out the honey dip out of nowhere, bro. Like, what you thought about that? Man, immaculate, man. They doing that in a dunk contest. You, you like that word? Did, he call, did you call a dunk immaculate? You got T.I. vocabulary. Bro, yeah, yeah. You need to add that into your, your, your repertoire. No, no, repertoire. He's trying to run out of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, 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 if you would have known, that was the word of last week. But he ain't on Coach, he ain't on coach Byron like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, But can you pull off that dunk? You got a little bit of bounce. I ain't never seen you do no honey dip, though. Yeah, slam ball. Slam ball don't count. Some don't have no trampoline, bro. But I... But I do, though. Hey, I got a question for you, Duke. What happened last time you and me 1v1 on this court right here? <laughs> you, you won. All right, I'll just make sure. I'll just make sure. Uh, like five, three. We'll just, we'll just. Yeah, I cooked him. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Who, who's better, me or you, Davis? And ask the chat. Let's ask the chat. Chat, what do you think? Who do you think better, me or Duke at do basketball? I, do, do I have a vote? You do not have a vote. Okay, okay. Man. I, I deserve a vote. If I'm voting, best overall player is easily... It's easily do, but but but, 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 but I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, like the best skill set. Cause he, he played play defense, defense too. Like it's both sides of the ball. You can, you got a better handle and you can shoot better. But like he got everything else. But hey, depending on where you play, if you can handle and shoot that thing, like you good. True. But like overall, like you gotta go, you gotta go Duke though. It's fair, it's fair. You know what I'm saying? It's fair. But, but I mean, hey, as long as you're third, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> all, all right, all right. I might be third. If, if, if I'm third, I'm third. I'm low key. I can't be third. Hey, third is hoop, crazy. Hoop. Don't sleep. Snack and hoop. Can you? Can you, you think you got enough bounce like to like actually do a dunk off with Ant? Yeah. You you, you can dunk with Ant. No, dunk off. Like, do, meaning I gotta do a whole bunch of different dunks? Yeah. Nah. I can do I, I got I can do like five different dunks. Yeah. But he can probably do like 15. That's fair enough, man. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching the OT Half Show. So I'm Snipe, my boy Davis. We catch y'all, man. Peace. OT fans act like they know who's going to win the chip this season. And I just tell them, y'all crazy if you think any team is a lock. You know what is a lock, though? Our fam at State Farm. They're reliable, and they're there when you need them. Just like a good neighbor. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome back to OTE Arena. We have the second round of the playoffs, and boy, do we have a good game on our hands. One point game, Cold Hearts, unbelievable second quarter, dude. I love to see it, man. I love to see them performing so well, especially the one and only Rob Dillingham, man. Mm -hmm. He done gave this team energy, he done gave this team life, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed if they let him down tonight. <laughs> man. I love the grind, I love the hustle. And we saw the grind and the hustle from the cohorts in the second quarter. Facts. I'm a cohorts fan. Like, I'm, I'm really a cohorts fan, so I want to see them pull off this upset, and they can. They can. I think I think they really can. Well, we pretty much have a tied game going into the second half. I need the chat to let us know who they have coming out on top, because, I mean, it's a new ball game. See, I'm a cohorts fan, but I'm also a realist. You know, and I think the, the, the Reapers still well in this game. I still think they the favorites to win this game. Mm -hmm. like, but I also think that the Cold Hearts are surprising everybody. The Cold Hearts stole momentum at the end of that second quarter. Yeah, yeah. And they're still looking for their second score to go along with Rob. Yeah. Hey, Davis, what's going on with the chat? Man, I was just looking to see what they were saying about who'd win near Duke and, you know, it's a, lot, it's a lot of Dukes out there. Davis got the skill with Duke Athletic. I mean, they're trying to act like I'm not skillful or something. I don't think we have the same skill set. Uh, now listen, okay, so, like, I think my bag's a little bit deeper. 
Oh. No, that's, that's, that's incorrect. I literally can do everything that's you can do. That is What? That is cap. What? what can I do that you can do? Uh, oh. Thompson. My goodness. To Thompson. Like, I can do that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> that's not bad, though. I'm talking about ball handling facility. You know what? Let's get into the game. No, it's not about you and me. It's not about you and me. Right, hold on. Last thing I say. Heavy. My, my IQ offensively is better than yours. Like, like to, the ability to know what's going on and what will and won't work on a, on a court is better than yours. That's Don't sleep. Saying. Don't sleep on Rob. Oh, 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 my you boy is open. You know what, Davis? You know what, Davis? Me and you, me and you good on the same team. We on the same team. We don't need to be talking about, we need to be talking about Rob. Right exactly. Now. You know what I'm saying? 21 like, points. Man. Rob picking up where he left off. Dominating for the Cole Hearts. Oh, look at Nas, look at Nas, look at Nas. Oh, okay. Here he goes. Rob again. A fast guy hit. That's Bryce Griggs. Oh. That's going the other way. Oh, they stopped the fast break. <laughs> hey, uh, I started just seeing Bryce Griggs have a little bit of tunnel vision right there. Um, yeah. He was more focused on Rob while Nas was in the corner wide open. Yeah. I need, I need Bryce to shoot that. Bryce has, Bryce has no points. Cold Hearts looking for their second score. We know what kind of shooter Bryce Green is. Of course, you know? yes, sir. Nate. Okay. He hits those. Oh, man. Good he hits those, the team gets a lot better, though. Because the one thing besides besides Eli and Trey, the Cole Hearts don't have that many shooters. Did you say the Cole Hearts don't have that many shooters? I meant to say. Oh, the Very Reapers. Sure. Oh, yeah. I don't want to say. Yeah. You got Rob. You got Tyler Smith. You got Nas. You got Bryce. You got John Ed. Hey, hey, let me ask you, Duke. Let's talk about the shoes on Nate. What are those? I have no idea. They Nikes, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, they might be Nikes, man. Yeah. He, de he definitely got the Dreamers Nike colors on. And the finish from Buley. Yeah, that was a tough finish. Ryan Buley for the offensive board. All right, man, listen. Let's check. see. He checked. Rob. Oh, my Lord. Off the mark. Hey, Nate, hey, Nate when Nate gets to stop on Rob, you be talking to him. Oh, I mean, of course. Of course he would be talking to him. They have a lot of history, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, some though. Nate facing up. Off the mark. <laughs> I wanted never get that. Laughing. Hey, yeah, he got back him down. I'm not gonna lie. Rob wants more. And he's gonna be upset about that for sure. That's a foul on the floor. Is it a foul? Yeah. Uh, on the floor. They, they call it a foul. I'm not sure if it was. I'm saying, do you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. think it's a foul? Uh. I don't think it's our place to say, you know, like, like I don't think it's our place to say whether it was or was not. I liked how physical that first half was. Though. Of course. Oh, let me see. It's a foul. Let's see. Ah. Uh, uh, Chat. Is that a foul? I don't think it's a foul. And it wasn't on the floor. Rob with 21 points. He's dishing it as well. Make it 22. <laughs> I mean, when he's playing like this, he's about as tough to cover as anyone at OTP. Man, I mean, I completely agree. I mean, we were talking about bags earlier. That That's that's the ultimate bag right there. Thanks. Ball handling on a different level. Uh, like Coach Gomes said, it, it's not just the ball handling, it's foot speed and then the creativity. A lot of people think about the move they're gonna do before they do it, and there's some people that can just react. I think that's what Rob does. Great. On the fan And one. And one. I like that, Ryan. Yeah, I'm not sure if Kentucky's playing tonight, but I just have this image of Coach Cal just sitting back in a recliner with his arms crossed, watching the game, being like, oh, yeah. Oh, look, yeah. Look at us, Oh, man. yeah. We're about to cook. Yeah, look at us, man. The Kentucky commit. Right now, that's Ryan Buley at the line. Hey, Sniper, you're down there with Coach Lado. What's going on, Sniper? All right, guys, I'm here with Coach Leto. Tight ball game right now. What's the key to making sure that y'all get the lead and more importantly, keeping the lead? We got to defend better. 
uh, at the point of attack, just like right there. You can't hit the ball in the paint. You got to defend better, and then we got to run out of there. Uh, also, Coach, I know it might not be the right time, but every time I look down, you got some heat on. The day you done brung out the Air Jordan 3s, I even see you got some of the assistant coaches rocking the Jordan 3s. Is that something y'all do, or that y'all just happen to be twins today? It's not the right time, and two, it's a sneaker game. Y'all heard it from Coach, man. He's been doing this. He's an OG in the game. He was probably alive when Jordan, well, he was alive when Jordan dropped his first pair. Back to y'all at the booth, man. Hey, thanks, Knight. Hey, that was a big bucket for the Cold Hearts. Hey. T Tyler Smith with the three. They need to get him going, especially after how dominant he was in the first round. Nah, yeah, Nas, 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 Nas with the three. Oh, that was Nas with the three. Excuse hey, me. Um, Nas, too, though. That's, Coach, that's, Coach Leo did that's not true. smile once when, when, when Sniper complimented him. <laughs> he didn't even crack a smile. He don't care. Great. That there we great. go. Yeah, Nas is, what, Nas, is, Nas, is Nas, Nas feeling it right now. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> hung on the rim way after the shot went. <laughs> now the Cole Hearts is looking like a fantastic, a, a fantastic team right now. Yep. The defense too. Bria Janelle, the, the in-house MC playing Simon Says with the crowd. <laughs> hey, what did you guys think of that Simon Says at halftime? It was fantastic, man. It was very entertaining. <laughs> I saw, I've, I've seen that in the NBA more this year. I'm glad we brought him here to uh, to OT Arena because <laughs> I know I would have lost immediately playing that. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can win it. I should have played it. All right. Nah, it's going back to work on Eli. No call. Yeah, that's not, that, that's just and the miss. Hey, this game is like... This is intense. Yeah. Great game. That's a men Thompson at the top. Going to the rack. And the Great finish. Game. Strong finish. Yeah, against two cold defenders. Top ball game, man. That's six points for a men. A star with eight, a men with six. I really need Bryce to be able to hit some open, some open shots. Nice. 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 Cunningham. Nice. 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 I know Eli is a great defender, but now I get him straight bending right now. I ain't gonna lie. And he's starting to get crazy to him, too. We are talking who's gonna be that second scorer for the Cold Hearts. Smoke it. The rebound. Hey, it's the, it's some those those yeah, they, they can go. They, while, while the Cold Hearts are this hot, they need to get stops. That's Bryce Griggs. Yeah, they, good, yeah, good foul, good foul. On zero, good foul on zero. Uh, he didn't even, I mean, he did it on purpose. Let's take another look here. To Nas on the wing. <laughs> He's talking crazy. You know, pop them. <laughs> and we have Sniper down on the vibe cam with the six fan of the game. Sniper, what's going on? Uh, usually when we have six fans, man, we get some people that can hoop. Can y'all hoop? For sure, for sure. Can you hoop? Yeah. Everybody's that can hoop. Like, if you had to choose, you play like anybody in the league, who you play like? Yeah, OTE League? Yeah, let's do OTE League. They make it fun. Okay, um, I say Nas. Say Nas? What in your game is like Nas' game? I don't know. We both got like the same body build. We both play the same. Like, Nas, uh, like 6'8. What do you mean? I mean, like, I'm in ninth grade, so eventually I'm going to grow to be 6'8. You in the ninth grade? Yeah. So you, see, okay. See, yeah, yeah. You, All right, bro. Who do you think you play like here, OTE? Kind of like uh, Rob. Just you got a Rob game. Rob is crafty. You crafty too? Yeah, yeah. You, you short, man. You look like you probably got like a nice Kyrie handle. I, I, do. I do. Do we do we really though? He do. He do. He right. the Georgia. All right, man. Last question. Who your favorite player here at OTE? Uh, I say either Rob or Trey. Oh, uh, why, why, why Rob or Trey? They both crafty. They both got a you know what I'm saying nice quick game. Yeah, they just seem low center to the ground and like and can hoop too. So all that, yeah. Last question to you. Who winning this game tonight between the Cohorts and the City Reapers? City Reapers. You agree? Yeah. All right, y'all. We got the six fans. I appreciate y'all boys checking in. Back to y'all at the booth. Three-point game halfway through the third quarter. Cold hearts. Bruh. And that's Tyler Smith. All right, five-point game. They need an eight. If they, if they can 
hold on to this lead until something don't get back in. <laughs> until something don't get back in, man, they will have a great chance at, at stealing the, the first game. Malik Bowman checking back in for the Cold Hearts. Forward from Cumberland, Maryland. Everybody says they can hoop, but only like 15% of people actually. Davis, who's your OTE comp? <laughs> Man. Looking around, scanning. Yes. I'll, I'll do play by play of you thinking about it. Okay. Sure, sure. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to combine players. All right, who? Okay. You're gonna have to go with. Oh, that's a great. That's a great attempt. Bryce and Killer going line for two. I have to say, uh, Trey Parker, Rob Dillingham, and Asar Thompson. So, uh, yeah, so modest, man. So modest. I'm being honest. Mine is Jay Gord. All right. That's who I play most, most like, Jay Gord. That's what I was about to say, too. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Just attack. Not at all. You know, so who would you, who would you give me? Huh? Who would you give me? I would give you. We need a, a he, tall player that can that can shoot and drive him as an athlete. But Jay Gord's more of a guard. He's a little bit more shifty than you. You're not super shifty. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Like, you strong. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna give you a comparison later. I gotta find it. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. Dave, what about yourself? I was gonna say, I was gonna say Jay Gord too. I'm like a, I'm, I'm a physical guard who'll do anything to not pull up. I okay. feel you. Just does oh not feel good about goodness. the jumper, and City Reapers are going the other way. Showtime. A man Ooh. to a star. They, they literally look like they're flying. Man, how much fun must that be? Just you and your twin. You and your twin just out there flying. <laughs> Take another look. It's like, it's, it's, it's oh, perfect because, like, they both know exactly where they want the ball. And so, like, since they both want it in the same place, they just put it right there. I mean, Asar, just an MVP caliber season. Second in the league in assists. Eighth in the league in points per game. Potential fifth overall pick. Man, I don't get sick of watching him. Man, just an absolutely fun player to watch. Uh, just an absolute crazy athlete. I mean, in the beginning of the season when the City Reapers started off 10-0, I didn't think they were ever gonna get stopped. And it still doesn't look like it. I mean, it do look like it. It, it seems like as we get to the, you know what I'm saying, uh, end of the playoffs, teams are now figuring out how to at least slow them down to the point where they can have a chance. Like the Coldhorns right now, they up three. And that's because they find a way to slow down the, the Thompson Twins, man. That's fair. Now, now Asar has 10, Amen has six. City Reaper's only down by three. Is that a good sign for the City Reapers that they're only down by three with their two main guys only putting up 16? Or is you getting a little worried like, hey, those boys need to start start putting putting up some more points, filling up the stat sheet like they normally do? Um, I think that this was a game plan for the cohorts. The cohorts game plan was to take them out the game by forcing them to shoot jump shots. So I think I think they're they're playing to, to the cohorts uh, to, to the City Reapers' weakness. I think you gotta be concerned. Can 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 they get it going versus this this defense they're playing? No, I agree. I agree with you right there. Now during that timeout, we had we had a fan hit hit the hit the shot from the stands. That's what everyone was going crazy about. Uh, if you took ten of those, how many are you get? Zero. I already from did the it. corner. You missed all of them. <laughs> you missed all of them? Yes. Uh, I I'll get three. Three? No way. Uh -huh. Ten out of three? I mean, uh, three, three out of ten? ten? Yeah. No way. Wow. Yeah, 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 three. You're saying three? All yeah. right, we'll have to see after this. Trey, Trey Parker. Comes up a little gimpy, but he hung up there in the air for a while. In the Grinches. The Grinches, man. If everybody wore the Grinches, the world would be a lot better place. Yes, now this is actually a fact. Hey, Chad, what's your favorite basketball shoe of all time? For me, LeBron 9 Big Bangs or the 2012 Hyper Dunks. Can't go wrong. Kobe 8, it's Kobe 8 too. Mine is the Bruce Lee's, man, the Kobe Bruce Lee's. Okay. The one Big Jock got on right now. 
uh, size 94. Hey, it's time for the big bonus. Each non-shooting foul to the 15th foul. 14 seconds, one man advantage. Here we go. They're averaging about a point and a half per big bonus. That's Rob going to work. The floater connects. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh my goodness. I love that something, though. Samto protecting the rim at all times. Three point game with three minutes left in the third. You know, we, we want to ensure the safety of all our players, you know what I'm saying? But also, we want to see a competitive game. Rob Floater is insane, bro. Like, Let's take a look at the foul two at the other end. Hard foul. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's gonna pass him. That's the defensive player of the year right there. That was, a, that was obviously a great foul because he missed the first one. Hey, you know what's an underrated skill in basketball? Learning how to land. Yeah. I was thinking that too. I thought he, I thought Thompson was gonna hit the deck hard. And he landed it really well. Yeah. Duke, I might have one. The Kai Howard. For me? Shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah. by strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not, not too much dribble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm just shorter than him. Yeah. But in comparison. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like yeah. Normal I, people. I agree. I yeah. agree. I agree. Devontae's Cobb. Hey. Oh, same. Oh. <laughs> Rob Dillingham back to work. Yeah, A little uh, short. Oh, yes, sir. Man. Got to get it out. Got to get it out. Get it out. That's too, that's too. Malik. Man. Yeah, okay, good. Good man. Good man. Malik Bowman will go to the line for two. I'm with you. There are three guys standing wide open yeah. at the <laughs> line, at the three point line. Now, yeah, and now Malik, 6'8 forward from Maryland. The lefty, I, every time I watch Malik, he impresses me. Duke, what, what do you like about Malik's game? It's a shooting forward. <laughs> it, it, it's real, look, you see it? It's real, like, like he definitely work on it a lot. Like, like yeah, it, it, it look like it's hard, though. It's like it's hard to do. But, hey, I like I like how he made it work. I'm with you. It's it's, it's a little mechanical. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mechanical. That's a, that's a great. Yeah, yeah, it just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have producer, my, my producer KJ in my ear had me shoot my left hand. I'm like, what's going on over here? The Thompson twins gotta, gotta put up some more points. A man. Bryson Taylor. Oh, rejected. Wow. Santo. Yes, sir. He's got a big smile on his face after that. See overtime CEO Dan Porter there. Yeah. He likes it. He likes it. it. Let's take Are you another serious? look. No. Yeah, insane. yeah. It's so hard to dunk on something. No, I think I can dunk on him, but these OTE players, man, they need to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tiller was coming downhill, too. We're gonna so hard. Two seconds left on the shot great clock. Defense. Hey, great defense by Tiz. Ned Walker, the double team. Uh, I thought we were gonna get to see the jumper. Oh man! Oh my Rob, goodness! Pump, spin, foul. <laughs> nah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to add this spin move. Yeah. To That's tough. Hey, we have a great atmosphere in here tonight. Honestly, man, hey, look, the for, crowd a is, for a Tuesday. On a Tuesday, yeah. is jumping like this. Going up on a Tuesday is hey. insane. Got <laughs> hey man, we got 8,000 people in the stream. Up, only 600 likes. I need every single person who's watching right now stay, stay. to like the stream. Hey, Scratch that. We need one yeah. like, okay? okay, from the stream. We need one person mm -hmm. to like yeah. the video. Just right? one person. Okay, it's super so look, easy. We're at 674. Stay, we just stay, need stay, one more person. Stay, we'll stay. get to 675. We need one person. John Jackson rejected. Oh, Sabdo is easy. Sabdo is. 
Hey, he is the out. defensive player of the year for a reason. Malik, Malik, Sando is hilarious, bro. And he, he gonna get dumped on soon. Yeah. <laughs> if you get seven blocks. Yeah, yeah, he, he gonna get dumped on soon. I mean, he's blocking 6'11", John Jackson. That's, that's no easy feat. Oh, oh, man. Rob with the ball on oh, the string. Oh, John man. Walker take a win. Winnie Walker. Hey, this seems like the biggest the City Reapers have ever been down the whole season. That's what it seems like. I don't have a statistician to back me up. I can't confirm, but I'm with you, Davis. I'm with you. Nine point yeah, lead yeah. for the cold part. Yeah, come on, baby. Let's come take on, another baby. look. Let's keep going. You right? Sabto on the defensive end. Look. Rob Dillon Rob, facilitated. Man, man, he orchestrated, man. Word. Hey, I, and we have Samto mic'd up. Let's take a listen. Somebody to score. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I love. He's he's getting hyped for uh, for other people's dunks, not just his own. I yeah. thought they were about to roll that, and we were gonna see him yelling on his own dunks and blocks, but not. Nah. Hey man, something other type of teammate that you need, man, to keep you going. Man, how would how, how would you not want him? He's gonna get every stop defensively, dive for every rebound at seven foot, and just be a great teammate. And what I like about this Cole Hearts is that. Everybody's not even like shooting birds right now. Bryce Griggs not having a great game. Tyler Smith not having a great game, but they're winning. Yeah, Rob having a not having a great game. He having a fantastic game. So I will say that the Reapers now that they 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 haven't lost yet. Of course, the game is far from over. Bro. Yep. Nine point game. I have to figure out how to score better in the half court. right there, a man Thompson. Wow. I think back to a game a couple weeks ago between the Reapers, we'll take another look here, between the Reapers and the Dreamers. They came back down from, I believe, 15 with around the same amount of time left. They got on a crazy run. City Reapers are in this game. Seven point game, that's nothing for them. I ain't gonna lie, that look kinda clean though. That look clean, something though literally went straight up. The thing about the, the Reapers is that, for some reason it feels like, it feels like for, for a team going against the Reapers, a lot of things have to go right for them to be up or even be in the game. But for the Reapers, things don't even have to go right. And, and you look up in there by, by 10 points. Yeah. That's Rob Dillingham and his 27 points going back to work. 10 in the corner. Oh. oh. Foul on. You hear the horn, that signals the bonus the time. Bonus. 14 seconds for the City Reapers. They're also averaging just under one and a half per big bonus possession. Duke, who's taking it? <sighs> uh, I, I, I want to say one of the one of the twins, man. I say one. I say one of the twins. Trey Parker, corner free. Corner three. You, uh, said, you done said Trey Parker every single time. And it's been him every time. I'm, I'm telling you, I look, look, corner three, corner three. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Yo. John Dunk. Give me John Dunk. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I'll looking. I'll give you your props. Thank you. Shoot that. Oh. Uh, oh, that was a good one. Rob. Oh, man. Santo. Oh! They call it foul on Trey Parker. Parker throws the ball in the air. <laughs> and Santos looking for the technical on Parker. Should that be a technical? Uh, I mean, he, he threw the ball up in the air. Low key, you're right. <laughs> I like Trey a lot. I like Trey a lot, man, but I don't know. Now let him play ball, man. Let him move? Let him play ball, man. Don't take up my dog, man. I don't, I don't want him to get tech. 
Let, let's take another look. This is this is insane athletic ability. That's oh, no, yeah, that was a foul. His hand went back. Let's see. You see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 His hand went back. Yeah, yeah, that's a foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. That's cool. That's now seven points for Samto. Five point game. Samto with the line. Samto hits both. Let's see how the let's see how the Reapers respond. A man to a saw. Saw going to work. There's the double off the bar. Oh, oh. Let's see. You got Rob, John Man, and something though. Which, that's a crazy trio, yeah. by the way. <laughs> that's a crazy trio. Look at the Cole Hart's bench too. Into it and on the shot clock, and then on the quarter clock. Rob. The ah. No way. Oh. No way. Oh. Okay. okay. I, I thought for sure that was about to go in. We have a six point game. Cold Hearts up 70 to 64. Incredible. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, in, in large part to the defensive player of the year, Santo Surreal. Funny, he, he's a character, and I mean, on the defensive end, averaging 3.4 blocks per game, that's the most in OTE. I mean, has already surpassed that tonight. And then he does it on the offensive end too, which kind of feels like gravy, because you know what he could do, protecting the paint. And he has eight points, you know, 6'10", big man hitting both from the free throw line. He's, in my mind, one of the most complete players here at OTE. I mean, it's not even the stats that are gonna show you the, the, the the impact. It's uh, there was a badge on 2K back in the day called Intimidator. Yep. And it's just if, if you were in the vicinity of someone, their their shot percentage would drastically drop. He has that on platinum diamond. Yeah, like uh, if you look at his stats, I mean, besides the blocks, you really won't see how he impact. But like, it ain't even just the blocks. It's like, like forced misses. <laughs> yeah. Forced misses, like, like. People not even really coming in the paint as much as they usually do when he is there. And, 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 and even if they do come in, he block it. You can tell. You can tell because the other team changes their game plan immediately when he comes out. Yep. And then when he goes out, when he goes to the bench, they, they attack in the paint as much as they can. Yep. And I think we have Sniper down. Uh, with Israel Gutierrez from ESPN. Sniper, what's going on? All right, guys, I'm down here with Izzy, ESPN writer. Um, I know that you already know about the Thompson Twins. Crazy game. What do you think about them so far? First of all, I've been wanting to be on the Vibe Jam for a minute now. Oh, so my okay. first time here in OT Arena. Much love. Thank you for that. What do I think of the Twins, man? I feel the Twins right now feel like they might have to do too much. You know, they have to, I don't know if they feel like they have to carry this team, but it feels like they think that they do. And um, I think it's a little bit of pressure on them right now. But I think what you're looking at is a couple of guys are going to try to figure it out down the stretch here, down six. Because you know they, you know, crank it up on defense when they need to. And I think you got other guys coming in with the scoring. So I think you'll see those two, like, shut it down right here and uh, probably take this thing, come back and win. All right, before I let you go, I got to ask, looking at the game, you can see how the momentum swinging. Who do you think is going to take the W tonight? I think I got the Reapers. I think I got the... Uh, I think I got the Thompson Twins coming up big. Eli may be coming up with a big shot. And man, if Santo lets them get one bucket in the rim, then maybe they'll, uh, I think they're going to pull it out. All uh, right, you guys heard it here first from Izzy. I'm Snipe. Back to the pool. Snipe, thank you. Thank you very much. You're, you're our own Tony Reale over there. 
Snipes fit is absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, it, the Snipes fit. And it's crazy, too, because the jersey's fire, but for some reason, he, he did not put on the shoes to match. It, it, it's almost like he just didn't pull it off tonight. Yeah. Like, he, he, he usually does, but not tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sniper is not Mr. Put It On. We have a one-point game with nine minutes left. But the thing about the Reapers, man, is like, like, they can be down 10, you look up, now it's tied up. Just like that. Walker, step back. Oh, smoked it. O off the mark. <laughs> Definitely smoked it. I feel like the, the City Reapers could benefit with, with Eli getting more shots up. That's a great call. I think you gotta get open. You gotta get open. I think I think he's only taken two today. Ooh. There we go. A man Thompson. Yeah, just like that. Man, if those start falling, it's, a, it's, it's gonna be a long it's a, quarter. It's gonna be a long quarter. 8-0 run right now for the City Reapers. Cold Hearts have to find their groove again. Oh, a John Ned air ball. Rob. Eli Ellis, oh, the wow, save, the and the finish. A quick timeout from Coach Ryan Gomes of the Cold Hearts, and the City Reapers on a 10-0 run. Great run. I mean, it felt like two seconds ago coming out of the quarter. We take another look here. Asar, Man, all oh. part of the 10-0 run, coming out of the third quarter into the fourth. And, and what's tough about the City Reapers, like I told you, everything doesn't have to go right for them. If they just play their game eventually, especially by the time that fourth quarter comes around, they'll find a way. They're not really hidden from the outside. They've, they've, yeah, as Eli, long as Eli they find a way. has barely gotten it going, yep. you know. Right, he's going to take all the shots hard, he needs so. to. It's just they got to be contested. So keep put pressure. Now in the black, hold on. In the black, keep that pressure and then rotate hard out of it. This is what we talked about last time. So Eli, you're here. Ryan, you're here. So we come hard off the pick and roll. All right? He's roll hard, and he's going to pick his man off right there. Same thing as the word 52. Everybody got that? That's Coach Lado of the City Reapers. Sorry about that before. All right. Hey, three, two, go. Nice. We got Stand Anthony the Hamilton in the chat. Stand at the top. Mm. Our ball. Hey, you did a good job holding down the halftime show. We miss Amp, but you held it down. Sorry, sorry, you, man. I, I was, I, I turned to the Jets to get up there in the time. Jack of all trades, man, Davis. Uh, thank you. Duke, how do the Cold Hearts get their momentum back? Oh, they just gotta uh, get a few defensive stops, hit a few threes. Same thing they got them back in it first time. I need Tyler Smith to uh, to show something. Hey! Oh. So they're sitting there resting Nas, Santo, and Rob. Bring it back in for this final fourth quarter run. Duke, I'm glad you said that. Tyler Smith in the first round, game two, 26 and eight. In game one, 21 and seven. Almost 16 points per game during the regular season, 10th in the league. I think he's about to have a big fourth quarter. Uh, he needs to, I hope so. Uh, the Reapers did a, a great job of like, game planning for him. But you can't game, let that stop hey, you. Right. Yeah, I, I knew that um, since he had a good first series, that the Reapers going to game plan for him. And what I didn't want to happen was them to actually the game plan correctly. I was correctly. on the floor. And he only got five points. I was on the floor. So it looked like they stay game plan correctly. Got to get that out. You got to get it out. That's a foul on the Reapers. Brian Buley does love the call. Oh, the 9,000 people in the chat, hey, make sure you subscribe. Quick, Tyler, you're here. Tyler, you're right here. Right now, right, I want to see every single person. Who do you have winning this game? The Cole Hearts or the City Reapers? Only a three point game. Yeah, yeah, one possession game. Let it be known right now. Let's stick with it. Go get Go get Tess. Who's going to comment first? Don't settle. Watch the City hands. Reapers Watch or Cole Hearts? Let me know. Right, right, right now. Right now. Bonses, Cobbs. Kicks. Great defense. Walker. Oh, Not man. Down. And one too Tough many. Team. Good defense oh, oh, from the City Reapers. Hey. Right, 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 right. Eli, Eli. Uh, 
Yeah. You gotta believe with those Tom toes that you know where this is going, probably. Yep. That's right why. to the paint. Good. Yeah, he yeah. Has to go. He has to. He has to, he has to, he has to go back. He, he gotta come back like, here. Yeah. Tom is not a rim protector uh, versus all the the height the city Reapers have right now. A block with T said this. Oh, oh, my locked it, it's the fourth quarter. You know what time it is. Yep. A block with T said the cold hearts. And Hamilton said the cold hearts. I still got my cold hearts. That's Bryce Briggs' first field goal of the night, and they need him right now. Oh, I'm man. <laughs> okay, he definitely got fouled. Right? It definitely but. was a foul. <laughs> and the crazy part is the ref was literally right there. A little, a little bit of a late call. Oh, man. Let's take another look at Bryce's three. Big shot. And if I had a, if I had a shot like that, I would be putting it up a lot more. All right, let's look. Is that a foul? Uh, he got in the shooter's box. City Reapers just two for 18 from behind the arc, but they have a two-point lead. Wow. That says a lot. It says a lot. They're a tough team to beat. And if the cohorts pulling off today, they can pull off the shoes. 62 of their 76 points in the paint. And I got to believe a lot of those are when Santo's not in, too. Asard, Ooh. in and out. Uh, interesting. Could have been over the back, maybe. Yeah. Luke said that's not, that's not our place. So I said, <laughs> interesting. Uh, I don't know what, what happened. What? Okay. Let's take a look. I'm not sure. What? It's kind of a weird play. Yeah. Ryan Buley at the line. 6'9 forward from Fort Lauderdale. The first player, him and his brother, first players to sign with OTE last year. Nine years, man. Okay. That's gonna be a good. That's gonna be a good trivia question in a couple of years. Yep. 19 points, nine rebounds for Fuley. Beast. I really think the cohorts got to put together some offense while the, while the stars are sitting. Oh, oh my goodness. It slipped. It oh slipped. man, he smoked it. Yep, there was a smoke. He slipped. Getting a little chippy. I like it. Oh, there's a technical. Who got teed up? That means more than winning. That means more than winning. That's me, coach. That's me. I love that interaction there. Coach gave him the look. He said, that's on me. Dapped it up and kept going. Hey, hey, Sniper, what's going on down there? All right, what happened with the tag, man? I see you caught it. What would I miss? Excessive language, man. We can't have it. Hey, listen, man. It's, we got kids here at OTE. We can't be talking crazy. Back to y'all at the booth, man. I'm hey. assuming, gosh darn it, we're saying. I actually just can't take that Sniper face here. Like, <laughs> it's it's because his shoes just don't go with the fit. And, you know, for someone like Sniper, I expect him to be better dressed. To have it on at all times. Yeah, he, he is not Mr. Put It On, like I said. I mean, it, it like he like, like he didn't have enough VC. So like the jersey. He bought the jersey, that was, that was 5,000 yeah, VC. Yeah, and, and like, he couldn't get the, the shoes. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Get the shoes you create on your own. When you nah. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Smith, Smith. when they need it most. Tyler Smith, welcome to the party. Sar Thompson, oh, Bryson do Tiller, Dom. Yeah, they can't do that. You can't do that. Hey, only 200 more viewers needed for 10,000. 10,000? Who, who's in the chat? Bryce up to Santa. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh man, he out Yo, What? All right, before we see the replay, was that a foul or no foul? 100% yeah. of the foul. It would have been the, the most vicious poster if you would have made that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Let's take another look. Let's see. Throws it up. Oh. Mm. 
lost. <laughs> Yo, are you serious? That would have been insane, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 10K deep in the chat. Can we get a big 10K in the chat? Big 10K in the chat, man. I need to see everybody. I see you, Aqua, Glenn Goldman, Aunt Hamilton. Tell Aunt to pull up. Yeah, we, Aunt, we, we miss you. Yeah, where are you at, bro? What are you doing, bro? Aunt misses it. He misses it. Hey, and shout out to everyone watching on Prime Video, too. We got people watching all over. Prime Video, YouTube. Uh, you missed, you missed baby. They needed it. So yeah. All right, I think it's going to be a lot of the, the Cole Hearts and the Reapers both close the game with. Let's see how it goes. That's Trey Parker. The thing for me is that this is the Cole Hearts game. The City Reapers, in my opinion, even though they're a great team, are not the best half court team. Oh, stop it. There you go. Wow. There you go, Big John. Big John. Big John. Did he actually move real fast on that play. Anytime Big John dunks it, it feels like oh, momentum changing. Bryce. Oh. My. And he'll go to the line for two. Four point game, just over four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Every possession matters here. Let's take another look at the job dunk. And, and man, that's a, that's a fast move. He's got great mm. feet for a big man. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, he, yeah, that was a good move. Talk to me, Bryce. That's one. The OTE semifinals rolls on this weekend. Tune in Friday to see the two seed YNG Dreamers host Drake Gibbs Lawhorn and the red hot Word of God Holy Rams 7 p.m. on Prime. Then right after that, it's game two between these city reapers and these cold hearts. You can watch that game on Prime and YouTube. The action is just starting to heat up. Don't want to miss out. Two point game. Y'all see how great the basketball is? Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And tell them to comment in the chat. Indeed. Trey, mid range. Oh, in that. Oh, man. That was a tough shot, though. That's Bryce Griggs going the other way with speed. Tyler Smith. Oh, I just hit it now every time. Go right in or right out. Hey, did either of you do your uh, your investigative work on, on the basketball that you said you were going to do during halftime? A little bouncy? Uh, no, I had to sprint to the halftime studio. <laughs> but, uh... Now, now <laughs> Tyler Smith, unbelievable first round of the playoffs, going over 20 points in both. Duke, in pregame, you said he reminds you of Chris Bosh. Yep. Tell me what you like about his game and, and why he reminds you of Bosch. Uh, just so he can do a little bit, of, little bit of everything on the flow. He really spread the flow. Um, and he got fantastic defense. Uh, and that's really what Bosch is all about, man. Especially on that heat, the heat team. Yep. Yep. You see the lefty, the, the, the big lefty in the corner. Yep. Immediately, Chris Bosch comes to mind. What happened, boy? Off at the foul. Hey, Cole Hart got the chance to take the lead. One Eight. point game. Yep. Huge possession. Oh my goodness. This is what you want in playoff basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Bryce in the pick and roll, mid range. Oh, strong. Hey, hey, run, 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 run. Thompson's are running. Off to the races. Good, good foul. Good yeah, good foul by foul. Tyler Smith. You know, this building was rocking in the first half, and there's there's a real nervous energy in here right oh, yeah. now, you know? One point game, game one of the second round of the playoffs. Tense. Cause they know this this game mean a lot, man. Oh, yeah. This game mean a lot. Whoever take this game home, they got a real cushion. They got a nice cushion. Now my prediction before the game was Cold Hearts win tonight, City Reapers win the series. I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna stand by it. I'm gonna stand by it. Cold Hearts hey, giving them everything they can handle right now. Man, Thompson almost with a triple double. Oh, Trey, Trey Parker. Parker. This is huge. Yep. Absolutely huge. Can't leave him open. And there's three minutes left. Now is the not, time. Could not leave Trey Parker open. Rob, Rob is coming back. Yep. He's got that look in his eye. Oh, oh no. And now, announcer Jinx. I'll shut up. 
five point game here, just under three minutes left. Big possession. Yeah, now they gotta get a stop right here. That three was costly for the Colts. Czar Thompson driving, oh, kicking, oh, do a man, so hit me! That was, yeah, that was tough, that was tough. A man Thompson with oh, a dagger nice price. Oh, oh, they needed that. He said it's not over yeah, yet. Like, he said chill, chill. Man, five point game, two and a half left. They need to stop. Both teams could not have been colder from three in the first quarter and they're starting to heat up here in the fourth. Oh, good pressure. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> I agree with the foul, but like, about four seconds ago. About four seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> Trade three, can't leave him open. And we got a men here too. Man, all the room. And Bryce, they needed this. This was huge. Let me cheer y'all out. Let's take some out. Five-point game, and it's big bonus time. Davis, who you got? Well, Trey's not posted up for the three anymore. So, um, oh, no, he is posted up in the corner for the three. Yeah, the, the big bonus usually ends up having the corners. I think Tyler Smith is going to pay attention to Trey right here. So, it might go to the Beale in the corner. Duke? Uh, I will agree. I will agree. Hey. I'll say Trey again. He don't got it every other time. I'm going to say a star dunk. Yuli. I oh, know they slowed it. Nope. Oh, okay. Trey! Whoa! That's a, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Automatic chat, what do two think, points. Chat, how we feel about that call, chat? I don't lie. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Very... Very, very interesting. Yeah, let's take, let's, let's take, let's take look. another look at it. Chat, oh man, chat. I don't know, chat, how do man. we feel about that call, chat? Know. He, I, and the, the problem is that he stuck his elbow out. That is a, that is a, that's a bad call right there. That's a bad call. That's just a really bad and call. And on the big bonus, it's an automatic yeah, two points. That's it. They probably, that, that referee probably comes to the game. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough, that's a tough call to make right there. Oh, they're about to fight over the ball now. <laughs> you can see it coming. I don't do this at the end of the game. Let's play basketball. Seven point game, 204 left. Got a lot of discussion going on here. <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe I, I don't it. Asar can't, Asar can't believe it. I think he's going to do that. Hey, Bryce, hey, hell call. Relax, next play! Next play! Next play! We got stuff coming in. I think Coach Leto is saying what yeah, everyone in the building is saying right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep moving. No, it's their ball. Really it's, 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 one shot tech call. Tyler Smith. You're not gonna get the next one regardless. I call one, right? Six point game sniper. I get one more. What's going on? Hey, fire your man! Fire your man! Fire your man! Give the referee the ball, automatic one shot tech. Kids, if you're watching this at home, just get a ref the ball, man. Just give him the ball. Back to y'all the booth. Go, go, go! Right here. Tyler Smith got need a bucket here. Six point game, under two minutes. Rob going back to work. Drives. Oh. oh. Just ref refereeing our way. Yeah, I know. On it. Hey, power play, power play. Power play. That's a very. Power play. Power play. I'm, I'm, I'm still hurt by that big bonus a few minutes ago. Tyler, no, you and Tyler go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't throw. Don't throw. You drip. Don't throw. Bring it up. Don't throw. Don't throw. That instrumental is insane. That one-on-one -on -one instrumental. Minute 48 left. No, 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 no. And I believe we have. Run up there. Run up there. Run from back there. Big bonus. 14 seconds. Right, they need to convert. Big rush. We're in on big hey, rush. Hey, yo. Bryce to Walker. Drives. Finishes. Oh, yeah, one. Go. That was tough. All right, just a two possession game. That's a great game. Bro. Excellent. It's all about the stops, so you definitely can't give up a three if you're the Cole Hearts. Ahmed Thompson orchestrating the offense at the top. 
That's Bryson Taylor going to work. The oh, mid-range. Oh, crazy. Ah, that was short. a crazy shot for it. I don't know. Oh, Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith in the corner. That's oh, a sweet spot. Oh, my goodness. Tyler Smith with a huge three. One point game. Oh. The Reapers need a timeout. Don't look now. The Cold Hearts have stormed back again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, let's take another look. This is on the big bonus. Walker with a nice finish in the lane. We got Tyler in the corner. That's where he's hot from. That's where he's hot from. I needed that from Tyler right there. I need I needed that. Like. Hey, hey, let's listen in on the City Reapers huddle. Hey. What to do because he wants to score. All right, right now we're at 15. But when we run it through, Ryan, all right, when, when he comes off that pin down, Ryan, you got to find his defender. And when you come off it between this screen and the DHO, that's what's going to get you downhill. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, finish on me, finish on me, one On the pass over the top, you got to be able to track. This guy right here, if this guy leaves, you got to straight to the corner of that straight right here. Come on, one stop, fellas. One stop, here we go. We got hey, offense, offense. Hey, offense, hey, offense, hey, Vinci, hey, Johnny. Listen, listen, stack double, stack double, stack double, stack double offense, stack double offense. Rob, you handle it. Or Johnny, you and Rob handle it on the stack. That's what we asked for. Every possession matters. Minute 20 left, one point game. Here we go. I'm nervous like I'm hooping. Yeah, man. Oh, oh wow. Bryce with the steal. Walker going the other way. Misses. Oh, wow. I wish. He smoked it. And they foul. I wish he would have waited that because that's a hard lap to make. And now, and, and now City Reapers back on the big bonus. Hey, yeah, I wish he would have waited that out. Yeah, he definitely he definitely smoked it. It's a fast break layup, so I get it, but that's a tough lap to make over Thompson. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Great. Let's take another look. Awareness by Bryce. I get it. You always want to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was hard. That wasn't, that wasn't the, the easiest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tough, tough finish there, especially when you have numbers. I maybe would have brought it out, but hindsight 2020. City Reapers going the other way. Asar. Uh, Trey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Trey. Hey, Parker. They only have four players, so. Somebody was open. 15 points for number 69. All right. Got that line. Big free throws. Let's take another look right here. Trey in the corner. Huge. Ah. <laughs> All right, that's the new trend with, with Hoopers. I love it. They got so many emotes. Yeah, they got a lot of emotes. First one down for Rob. One possession game, just under one minute left. Rob with 28 points now. You going crazy. 29. 29. Huge free throws. It is a one possession game, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. A stop in the three by Rob. Here we go. Rob Dillingham is what I what I what I see in my future. I see Bryce Griggs. He's always been known for big That's shots. That's a man. Oh, good. Oh, oh and they call a man. foul on Salto. Man, and man, he is man, beside man. himself. Man, man. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see. Good pickup. Good pickup by Thomas. Yeah. Man. I feel I feel something. The emotion. Let me see it from your players. And y'all better. <laughs> better stay away from the, the rev. Good shot. Let's, let's take another let's look see, here. Let's yeah. see. Boom. He go. Right. Goes, he goes Hands straight up. up. Hands up. Uh, the le the left hand did come down. It it up, but if you look, look at Thompson's check, left hand, check out a mirror. Check check out Thompson's left hand though. Yeah, right. yeah. That's, no, that's, you're right. That's not fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, if I, anything, it's an offensive foul, and I agree. Yeah. I, I don't. I really disagree with the call. You know, Under a minute left. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe let him play there. I don't know. Here I we go. Play. Here we go. 
I ain't gonna lie, the, the ref done made some terrible down the calls. Stretch, down the stretch, too. 30 right. seconds left. Four point game. Rob to Bryce. Stripped. Thompson's Ooh. going the other way. Amen. Hey! Wow. Amen, Thompson. And Amen and Rob. Exchanging some words. An intense, intense game one here at OTE Arena. Mm. I want to know your thoughts. Duke talking to me. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that, you know, when you, if you're a cold heart right now, your frustration is through the roof. Yeah. You see close game, uh, refs can't be missing important calls that lead to now six point leads. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yep. Yeah. If I'm a, yeah, if I'm the cold heart, I'm, I'm frustrated by the late late calls because you know the train of men drives are led with the yep. offensive arm, and you can't do that. And also, I gotta say, cold hearts have kind of looked like the better team tonight. But that's the thing about the Reapers; they're so good that they get bailed the other out. Team, the other team, <laughs> no, they, no, I mean, I mean, they get bailed out by their talent. Oh yeah, like, by their talent. <laughs> like no, no, not by the refs, no, man. <laughs> that would have been savage. No, no, they, they get bailed. I mean, they go in transition; they're unstoppable. Yeah, they, they don't have to play their best game. They can play their worst game and have it be a close game or still be winning. And you got to give it up to the City Reapers. Yeah, definitely give it up to the City Reapers. Six-point game, 22 seconds left. Yeah, you see the faces of the cold hearts. A little bit shocked because they've, they've left it all out there. They played a great game, and they find themselves down six here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know. I feel for Sean Thunder. Important piece, Trey Parker, man, on that, on that, on that, in that corner. Oh, he's been stroking it. Yeah. 18 yeah. points. Don't sleep on Ryan Buey, too. 19 points, and then 20, and Sean 15 points. Overall, great game from the Cole, uh, from, from the Reapers. Walker. Kicks. Price. Travel. Very tough. They got a foul here. They got a foul. Oh, he did. He lifted his yeah. foot. Just a little bit. And the trash, the trash talk between Asar Thompson and Rob Dillingham is is worth you tuning in on Friday night. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll say that. There's talking, hand motions. Some clapping. Seven point game, 13 seconds left. This has been an intense game here, OTE Arena. Excellent intensity for both teams. Man. Eight point game. Oh, man. They called a foul. Now, <laughs> Coach Lato is beside himself, which he should be because the last thing you can do there is foul. Yeah. No time comes off the clock. Yeah, look at Coach Lato just stewing around. Oh, you don't even need it. Just let the clock run out. All right? Just let the clock run out. All right? Just back them up, back them up, back them up. Walker connects on the first, and this might be too little too late here for the Cole Hearts. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, uh, Reaper's win. Yep. Um, you can feel the frustration in the arena. Yeah. Uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's more so on like a so close type of yeah. type of vibe. But but also it's not like the even though the Reapers could have won it, it, it not, it's, it's almost like they didn't win it. Tough. It's, it's kind of like the refs kind of like made some bad calls that tremendously dictated who won this yep. basketball game. Now, Duke, if you're the Cold Hearts, is your takeaway from this game 
hey, we can hang with these guys. You know, yep. we, we barely lost to them. We barely lost to them two games ago. Or is it, hey, we just let it all hang out there and, and still came up short? I think, oh, that was to you, Duke. No, no, no. Uh, to me? Hold on, hold on, what'd you say? I, was, I, 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 oh, I, know. I, was, I was focused on the trash talk that was yeah, going me, on. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay, okay, then we all on the same page. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think they left it out here, but I don't think you should be discouraged. This was a great game by the Cold Hearts. Bryce connects on the three. Yeah, that beat him four times in a row. Mm. Oh, rim block. Three seconds left. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. That I, I wouldn't be discouraged if I'm the Cole Hearts. Yeah, nah, nah. They played a great game tonight. You can definitely tell the chemistry from the Cole Hearts done got way better. Oh, yeah. And we knew, like, the, the ceiling that the Cole Hearts had, the Cole Hearts had, the, the potential that they had. And it, and it showed tonight being able to be this close to the, to the Reapers. I'll say this. If this Cole Hearts team had this team for the whole year, they're probably higher than the four seed. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. I feel like that we all knew the Cole Hearts were going to make a good playoff run um, once they got healthy. And they're yep. healthy now when it matters the most. They put together a good performance. This City Reapers team. That's how, that's how the cookie crumble. Yeah, let's not take it away, though. This City Reapers team. Walker off the mark. That will do it for game one. City Reapers 104, Cold Hearts 97. I mean, Duke, you were right. Is that is that the kind of game you expected? Uh, yep. I knew the Reapers was gonna win, although I wanted the Cold Hearts to win. And that's just how this how I knew it was gonna go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm with you too. I thought the Cold Hearts were gonna were gonna pull it off, but this is the type of game I expected. And I believe it's also time for Davis Dodds due to the game. Davis Dodds due to the day. Man, yeah, I underrated I, I, player. I messed that up there. My bad. Keep it's going. Our, it's our <laughs> underrated player, Ryan Buley. I feel like we talked a lot, but we didn't talk enough about Ryan Buley. He had a big performance. I mean, look at this. Mm. Aggressive oops, good Thanks. rebounding, Thanks. great finishing. Hey, he's he's low-key one of the glues to this team, and you wouldn't even know, because we, yep. we, we, need, we need to show him more love. So big shout out to Ryan Buley, Davis Dodds, dude of the day. Ryan Buley with 19 points, 11 rebounds, and we're joined by him now. Ryan, congrats on the game one win. First off, just... What is the feeling like after that win? That was an intense game. It was a very intense game, but I mean, we still, I mean, we still want to win. You know what I'm saying? We got the win, but it wasn't a good win. We want to win by 20-30. I don't believe that. I mean, they're good. You know what I'm saying? But they're not the Reapers. Um, I'm not happy right now because I feel like we could do way better. I wanted to beat them by 20. That's, that was my main goal. So I'm not really happy. <laughs> well, you put up 19 and 11. You were feasting down low. When when you had a good a good mismatch, if you will, how did you take advantage of that down low? I mean, it was a great mismatch. You know, I'm going against Santo and my brother, um, great players. You know, play defense. My my coach told me to pump fake. You know what I'm saying? Because they're gonna block everything. They both lead them. I think they both lead and block. So I'm just trying to you know listen to my coach and get the win. Ryan, you said you wanted to beat him by 20. What do you guys have to do in game two to do that? I mean, this game we weren't really locked in. Uh, a lot of emotions, but I mean, we still have to win, but we're going we gonna to get that over with. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, I feel like that, so. <laughs> Ryan, I'm, I'm tired. Ryan, <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Congrats on the win. Go enjoy with your teammates. Best of luck for game two on Friday night. Hey, that will do it for us here at OTE Arena. For the AFP boys, Davis and Duke, I'm Overtime Day. Thank you for joining us for game one of the OTE semifinals. We will be back here Friday night for game two. City Reapers, Cold Hearts, see you next time.